Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, we're actually going to be checking out a cool little tool from Microsoft. So this is going to be Microsoft PC Manager and you need to be on Windows version 1809 for Windows 10 and above and Windows 11, it works. So what is Microsoft PC Manager? So this is kind of like a cleanup software just from Microsoft themselves. So you could think of it as something like CC Cleaner, but just from Microsoft and it has like a better UI and it's more modernized and it's basically the Windows 11 UI just built into this little app right here and it basically shows you your memory usage temporary files how much space they're taking up how much processes are running on your computer currently startup apps and all of that and there's also a antivirus feature within it so you want to head over the link in the description and download it whenever you figure it out and then you want to click accept click install and this is a beta software so nothing here is like official by them yet they're still testing it out that's what beta means and basically as you can see it's gonna install and then we're just gonna click launch now so once it launches it's gonna show up here on the bottom right we're gonna click it move it over here as you can see memory usage is about 45% temporary files you could click boost if you want but I kind of want this to be more in depth so I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna click settings the gear icon right here I'm gonna go to settings make sure these are both turned off except auto update just keep this on but you want to turn off start automatically because I don't want this running in the background all the time I only want to use it like maybe once a month, once a year, something like that, because this isn't anything like special. So health check, this is basically, again, it's just showing you what you could clear up. Browser cache, make sure you don't check this. What browser cache is, it basically is going to basically just wipe anything that you're logged into because your website or your browser caches in information and data for things like YouTube, for things like Twitter. Basically, it just caches in data so you could like next time you open the site, it's the same thing and stuff like that. So I don't really recommend checking this windows cache you're good to go with that and temporary files this is just your temporary files like they always were now you could also disable some of these startup apps if you have a lot of this i would disable them but these i actually need so i'm not going to disable them so i'm just going to press proceed because why not and yeah it says it's done and then you go to storage management and as you can see this is really nice it's going to show basically files that are you could pick greater than one gigabyte greater than 100 megabyte greater than 50 megabyte greater than 10 megabytes so there is a program that already does this but just the fact that they have this within this program is kind of helpful it's really easy to use so let's just pick over 1 GB and it'll start showing it up in this folder right here so that is gonna take a while for it to load so I'm not gonna look through there and manage apps again this just puts you through here store sense I wouldn't really recommend using that and manage large files we already went there and deep clean I'm pretty sure this is basically your disk cleanup tool but they built it in through here as well I don't really care about this but I'm gonna basically check everything here that's what I would basically do and then just press proceed and it will clean and press done so that's like kind of the storage thing and the process management obviously this is the stuff that's open right now how much memory uses and stuff of that sort so discord as you can see is using 600 so this was why you might want to start using discord either like ripcord or some other discord that uses way less memory so as you can see it's using about 600 which isn't too too terrible if you have 32 gigabytes of ram because most people now are on ddr5 if they get new hardware but this is is something to consider and as you can see google chrome or firefox they're obviously going to use a lot like that's any browser is going to use a ton unless like you put a limit on the browser which it my my opinion just makes it way laggy so startup apps again this is the same menu as in task manager where you go to startup right here so yeah a lot of this is kind of redundant but it's just kind of okay to have this tool just in case and then basically browser management you can change that and then you can scan your pc with microsoft defender which we actually disabled because it's garbage so this is like kind of contradicting but basically just a cool little tool to clean up your system if it's been just kind of slow or if there's just been apps that you don't know where they what they do or if there's been just apps that run in the background all the time or you just want to disable them but you don't know how to this kind of helps you with that and again with storage management manage large files is kind of a important one it's kind of helpful and deep clean again this is the same thing as the 
disk cleanup in File Explorer. So if you open up File Explorer, right click on your local disk and click Properties or go to General and click Disk Cleanup. You could this literally does the same thing as this. But again, this is like a software for people that are basically new to Windows, I guess, and they just put a lot of things within here. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you found this helpful, if you found it interesting, comment down below. This is a lot of like my followers and subscribers don't really have a use for this tool, but I just thought I made a, a video on this just because it is something new from Microsoft that basically is a step into optimizing your computer and it's literally right from them. So this might actually answer the long question that I've seen on Twitter. Do optimizations work? So Microsoft obviously thinks yes. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you want a full PC optimization service, book with the link in the description. I just released a new operating system that is customized by me. It's called Zilli OS 2.0. And it's included in my advanced and ultimate PC optimization service. It's a part of my service, so it's just a part of the process to optimizing your PC to the best performance and the lowest input lag and the best FPS. So book it down below. Every game works on there. Microsoft Store is supported, so it's not one of those custom OSs that completely strip out everything. This is an OS tailored towards gamers that literally it lets you play anything, use anything, and there's barely any compatibility issues. And you get literally the same performance as a stripped down custom OS. So if you'd like that, book down below. Link is in the description, zilli.as.me on my website, and hopefully I talk to you very soon. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.